Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of how to build the Grab Pack 2.0 in Unity 3D. And just so everyone knows, the version we are using for this series is Unity 2020.3.25 app, but it will still probably work in many of the newer versions. We also have very recently hit 1000 subscribers, which is crazy since when I uploaded episode 1, I think we only had around 500. So if you're not subscribed, please do, it helps out so much. Alright, in this video, we're going to add the green hand mechanics. I'm going to show you how you can make the green hand activate doors and even activate the purple boost pads we added in the previous tutorial. And then, we'll add some animation to the grab pack for when the player is walking. And finally, fix some movement bugs. If you haven't watched the first two episodes, then you can either go back and watch them, or just go to the Google Drive linked in episode 2's description to download the project and come back here and follow along. And throughout the video, all assets that are used will be in the Google Drive in this video's description. Before we actually get started, I want to tell you about the game I recently released on Steam called Luminile Found Footage. It's a realistic liminal space horror game where you venture through various creepy environments and solve puzzles, and spoiler alert, you aren't alone. Check it out with the link in the description. Now, let's get into the video. The first step is to download the necessary models. The link for this one is in the description. Make sure you download the FBX format. Once it is done downloading, open up the folder. Since it's in a zip file, we will need to extract it. Locate the new file that was created. You can now drag and drop the model file into Unity, and do the same with all of the textures. Drag the model into your scene, and scale it up a little bit. Then, right click on your model, and select Prefab Unpack Completely. Now, you can delete everything but the green power supply and green power receiver, because that's all we're going to need for this tutorial. Move the objects onto a wall in your scene. Now you can remove the green power objects from the parent and delete the parent object. Now I added a little sliding door that will be opened by the green end, but you guys can use anything you want for this. Next, click onto the triangular one and add a new layer called green power supply. Assign it to this new layer. Then on the hexagon shaped one, make a new layer called green power receiver and assign it as well. It is very important that this is spelled exactly as shown. Also ensure that you have added a box glider to each of these objects. Next, let's start making the special effects for when you have power in your green hand. Make a new particle system under the hand launcher under the green hand. If you want to use the one that I made, you can download it as a Unity package in the Google Drive linked in the description. Just make sure it's a child of the green hand launcher object and is placed properly inside of the green hand. Now duplicate the material that the green hand uses. Add a little bit of green emission to this material. We can also add a green point light. Just make sure the point light is the child of the green hand launcher. You also want to disable these effects for now. Let's make a simple animation for the door opening.
make another animation for its idle state. Set up the animation states like so. Make a new trigger condition called open and apply it to the transition. Disable loop time for the opening animation. Also, don't forget to disable exit time. Now, on the green power receiver, add a new script called green power. You can get all this code from in the Google Drive. Now let's add the references. For the grab pack, just select a new grab pack. On the door to activate, select sliding door. And you might notice there's an extra spot for a boost pad to activate. I'll show you how you can set that up. Starting with the purple boost pad from the last tutorial, you want to duplicate it and then move it upwards so we can work on it. Delete the point light from inside. Assign the cable one material to the hand to make it invisible. Set the layer to default and then move it downwards so it's completely covered by the original. Now you can deactivate the original. Now back onto the power receiver, drag and drop the original boost pad that we just deactivated into the reference spot on the script. We are almost done. Next, you need to get the new code for the grab pack script from inside the Google Drive. Now we have a few references that need filled in in the grab pack script. For green power effect, you want to assign the particle system we made earlier. For green power light, you need to assign the green point light that we also made earlier. For green glow, you want to assign the material with the green emission. And for normal green, assign the original green hand material that is not glowing. Next is the green hand mesh renderer. Set this to an object called hand underscore green mesh. And finally, you want to make sure that you set the layer green supply to green power supply and green receiver to green power receiver. Next, get the new first person controller script from the Google Drive. Now it's very important that you have all the values set exactly as shown here, or the grab pack movements won't look right. Next thing I want to do is fix a small movement bug. You may have noticed that when you jump into a wall, you can kind of get stuck to it. But luckily, this is very easy to fix and requires no actual programming. All you have to do is create a new physics material, and let's call it no friction. Adjust both the friction parameters to zero. Apply this in the material spot on the player's capsule collider. Then apply it to the other colliders on the walls in your scene. Now, when we start the game, you'll see that the player no longer sticks to the walls. Before the end of the video, I thought it would be cool to show you guys what you could make using this tutorial, since now we can make our own puzzles using the green hand. Alright guys, that will bring us to the end of episode 3. In the next one, I will show you guys how you can make the orange hand as well as other viewer suggested things, like maybe the battery scene in chapter 3. I also want to make a video on how you can achieve similar graphics to what I just showed you guys in the near future. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.